Namaste. I think of the practice of metta as like playing good jazz. There are classical teachings in metta, classical phrases. And for me personally, I find the phrases can become somewhat dry. They become an intellectual process. Or I'm saying the phrases without really connecting to them. Perhaps you've had that experience of doing metta. And it's, may you be happy, may you know peace, may you be free from suffering. <laughs> These are practices that are designed to connect us with our heart. And so easily they move out of the, out of the, the soma and up into the mind. There are many pl- wonderful practical applications for metta and the guided heart practices that we'll be offering this week are, are somewhat non-traditional. Classically, you begin metta for self, for benefactor, a neutral person, a difficult person, etc. One of the, the ways of practicing metta that I have found very helpful is working specifically with physical pain. If you have encountered any uh, physical challenges uh, over these days, or if you've had any pain in your life, you may find these techniques to be helpful. I usually find that in any given practice, I like just to receive the instruction and have the space to practice on my own. But what I would like to do is to tell you a little bit about about the specific technique, one of the techniques we'll explore. And then I'll offer some very general guidelines so you can find your own way within it, because they're of course, all different kinds of modifications, and you'll be doing your own improvisation as you work with this technique. When we come back to these two elemental questions, uh, the question that invokes wisdom of clear seeing, the questions that invoke compassion, the capacity to be or hold our experience. When you encounter physical pain, the question is, What is this? You find its location, or it finds you, and then you ask, can I be with it? As I had mentioned last night, sometimes you can't. Sometimes the pain is too much. Sometimes our our physical pain, or even the physical pain related to emotional or mental anxiety, takes us into a trauma response. And the, the experience of trauma is fear and helplessness. And when we feel overwhelmed by pain, we either move into fight, trying to remove it, make it go away with aggression, or we disassociate, or we simply freeze up. When you encounter pain that is too much, I have run across this technique, which I have used quite a few times. I receive uh, the gift of migraines. They can be quite crippling at times. And I have tried every technique I've ever read about on how to be with very intense pain. This particular um, strategy I have found to be very effective. Energy is neutral, but as we experience energy as it arises, it, we experience it in the second foundation of awareness of Vedana, of pleasant, unpleasant, or neutral. From there we have an immediate reaction to that, and we move into some mental formation, moving away from pain, moving toward pleasure, and getting kind of bored or spacey around neutral. Inevitably, when you experience pain, the mind will fixate on the pain. Maybe you've noticed this, if you ever had a a tooth filled at the dentist, your tongue can't not go to that place. It just keeps going back. And sometimes it can be very helpful to identify these zones or regions of sensation in the body. For example, when I have, a, have an intense migraine, they usually begin at the occipital ridge and they begin to move up over my cranium and just sort of shut everything down. When I can do my own body scan and locate the unpleasant sensation. You can think of that as region one or just zone one. And then you scan the rest of the body and you sense anything that feels either neutral 
or pleasant. And once you identify those zones or those regions, every time I do it, it's always a little surprise. And I'll realize that 94% of my body actually feels okay. 6% is completely freaking out. But that remembering that 94 can be very helpful. So this is how the technique works. And now I'll offer a little guidance so you can try this for yourself. And if you're not feeling any strong pain, you don't have to make it happen. But what you might do is just scan for where you feel the most predominant sensation and let that be zone one. Because the mind fixates on the pain, you sort of can't help it going into zone one, into the unpleasant sensation. So once you identify zone one and what we can call zone two, the neutral or, or the pleasant sensation, the practice is to guide your attention to stay in zone two. When your mind drifts back to the predominant unpleasant sensation, just guide it back into the whole region of zone two, of neutral and pleasant. And as you, as you investigate zone two, you'll let your body, let your awareness move freely through your body. Just imagine it like a little butterfly moving around and lighting on different parts of the body. And then you can label or note the quality of sensation. So it might be left elbow relaxed, right knee soft. And as you continue to just freely scan through zone two, you can then begin to notice anything that might shift on the inside. Sometimes there can be a, just a general sense of, of relaxation. Oftentimes, for myself, when I'm experiencing intense pain, I'll actually have a feeling of, I can actually be with this. I can bear this pain by having this base of my attention in zone two. Sometimes people will report that after some time of practicing, just scanning freely through zone two, that zone one begins to shift. Sometimes you can feel like there is a kind of a bleeding of, of zone one into zone two. Sometimes you can feel like zone one gets a little bit more, a little more amorphous, not, not quite as defined. Sometimes not. As you continue to practice, you might just intuitively sense when it feels interesting to actually bring your attention into zone one. And in that same way, you let your attention move around zone one freely, like a butterfly lighting on different plates, different places, and just notice or label the quality of sensation, either hot or burning. And if it ever feels like it's too much, you again go back to the practice of coming back and freely floating, moving around zone two. Again, the, this can be a very powerful exercise for training yourself to be with the body. It's a very powerful way of cultivating the sense of self-observation, the witness. And something may shift, something may not. I always like to quote Joseph Goldstein, who said, when you try a practice like that, like this, there are only three options. You'll feel better, you'll feel worse, or you'll feel the same. Now, if you don't have any, any strong pain, again, I would recommend just sense somewhere where you feel the sensation the most predominant. And you might feel it move or shift or morph in some way. It might, you might feel it disappear, in which case you might again sense if you can locate where you feel the most predominant sensation. Let that be zone one. And then let yourself practice again through zone two. I'll offer some spacious guidance so you can practice on your own. Some suggestions of how you might practice. If my words don't resonate with where you are, please feel free to ignore me and just continue with your own practice. We'll do this uh, for a little while, and then we will explore another technique of other ways of actively bringing your attention into wherever you feel strong, unpleasant sensation.
just some different attentional strategies of, of exploring, bringing awareness and bringing some compassion, some presence. And we'll explore a little bit of a, of a body scan, a metta body scan technique as well toward the end. So if you like, you can close your eyes. You might like to lengthen your breath. Gently soften on the out breath and just for a few rounds and gently lengthen the inhalation on the exhalation, just relax and feel. And over these next few minutes, let yourself just gently scan through the body, exploring the, the zones of sensation. Identifying any areas that you might put into zone one of unpleasant. Any areas that you find that are either neutral or pleasant. In your own time, you might select an area. It might be where you feel a strong, unpleasant sensation. And if you can't identify any strong, unpleasant sensation, just select an area where the sensation feels the most predominant. And let this area be labeled zone one. And in your own time, freely let your attention move around zone two. When you find your attention fixating on zone one, just very gently escorted back to zone two. And we'll practice for the next few minutes. Attention moving freely and spontaneously, investigating neutral and pleasant.
noticing the quality of presence, what may have shifted in these minutes of practice. And you might check in with zone one if, if this has shifted in any way. And you might, over these minutes, let yourself experiment, perhaps to remain with this free-flowing scan through neutral and pleasant. If it feels right, you might do some investigation in zone one with the unpleasant sensation. It's freely moving around within this space and naming the location and the quality of feeling, the texture of feeling. If at any point it feels too much, let yourself return back to move freely through zone two. And if the sensation in zone one has disappeared, just select another point where you feel the sensation most predominant right now. might now release the technique and just relax and feel. Anything that may have shifted, or moved or changed on the inside. deepening the breath. You might like to just gently reach your arms overhead and just lengthen up to the left side, through the right side. And let your eyes close with the arms extended up overhead. 
Just breathe into this quality of feeling, energy. And then slowly let your hands make their way down to your lap. in the classic body scan meditation. <clears throat> and just as with any concentration technique, we are not trying to invoke any, anything in particular, but to come in contact with, with simply what's, with what is there. I have found sometimes doing a body scan with this quality of metta, of kindness, can be a, a wonderful way to simply acknowledge and, and thank the body. And just as in the body scan, as I mentioned, a, a body part, you might let your attention move to that part of the body. And you might explore offering a sense of appreciation, a sense of gratitude, a sense of warmth, and allow that to, to flow through your body. You might find a a phrase or simply a, a felt sense quality as you scan the body. Perhaps just the word thank you or I care about this. Or perhaps just to imagine a quality of, of caring, a quality of warmth to flow into that part of the body. So if you like, you can close your eyes. And as you breathe, you might just take a moment to Feel the miracle of life in this body. How this body has served you to the best of its ability. And sensing a quality of gratitude or thanks. And as I mentioned, a body part, to let your awareness move to that part of the body Again, in your own way, with a sense of thanks or gratitude or a sense of warmth, appreciation. Beginning with the crown of the head. The forehead and temples. the eyes and the muscles around the eyes. And the muscles of the face, the cheeks and the jaw. the lips and the tongue. And the back of the head and the base of the skull. the back of the neck and the tops of the shoulders. The left shoulder blade. And the right shoulder blade. And sensing from the inside, the arms down through the elbows. Down through the wrists. The backs of the hands.
the palms. the thumbs and fingers. The lungs and the heart. the diaphragm and the rib cage. The lower back and the buttocks. belly, the lower abdomen, and sensing down through the floor of the pelvis. Sensing down the length of the legs, down through the knees, the backs of the knees. Down through the ankles. the tops of the feet and the toes. The soles of the feet and the heels. might take these minutes to, in your own way, offer metta to the body. You might reflect on the parts of your body that have been in pain in the past, broken bones, challenged parts of your body, and just lightly offer kindness, compassion gratitude, a well-wishing.
and you might as part of our remaining time, just reflect on a part of the body where you may be feeling some unpleasant sensation or a part of your body that might be calling for a little more attention. And if you like, you might bring your hands just to gently place on this part of the body. And you might draw your attention to your breath as you breathe in to breathe in the sensations. And as you breathe out to offer whatever you sense might be helpful. You might sense this holding as you might for a child who does not have words yet or an an animal with no words. How might you hold this with care? Breathing, relaxing and feeling, offering in your own way a quality of loving presence. In these remaining minutes, if you wish, you might release all technique. Relax and feel. And in your own way to rest in presence.